Welcome guys to another episode of Boob Arena and today we're gonna be playing uh, some of self-imposed challenge which is basically if I have a card I have I mean if I have a mana to play a card I basically have to and we're gonna actually start things out very strongly because we're gonna take the tower and my opponent will be playing necromancer which is well probably the best thing he could have done Right now, I think I'm gonna just focus on playing cards because pretty much if I have mana to do so, I have to play a card. I'm gonna play Ken against the cemetery because it's kind of a waiting move. And so far we are very comfortably winning this episode. Oh my god, I cannot. Slipped on that bomb girl, it should have been played earlier. I have to play this skeleton keg right now and... Unfortunately, that's not the way you are supposed to play a game because you kinda. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, you kinda are uh, allowed to play the cards in any order you want and at any time you want. <coughs> and the only restriction is that uh, it is advised not to leak mana and. Uh, with, with this challenge definitely I won't be leaking, but the worst thing may happen is that I may be playing a mana too quickly and not having response against some things later on. So he's gonna be playing actually a Dark Knight which will be very convenient because I'm gonna just play Knight, Swordsman, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna absolutely counter that, I'm gonna play Super Devil in the back because it's one of the most flexible cards, I won't be committing anything just yet, I'm, I have to now adjust my speed into a double mana because, well, we need double mana time and right now we're gonna just basically have more mana to spam and this game number one goes pretty well for my likings, I'm gonna probably just take this 3 star out of my opponent and yeah, that's gonna be a very cool game number one. It is self-imposed challenge. So the basic strategy will be just to play cards very aggressively as soon as I get them on hand because if I ever attack my opponent... Oh, I, I should have played that faster. Okay, so right now we're gonna be up against Viking, huh? Very interesting play. I'm gonna just play Cannon. Hope to get lucky with that interaction and slip some phones here, fortunately it won't and this viking will be a absolute nuisance to my possession. I'd also love to play this here so I can block piercing Garcia and actually it was a perfect timing so very cool to see. I'm gonna now play Digger because he actually recognizes my hand very correctly and recognizes that I don't have anything good for that. I'm gonna play Skeleton Kang too just for some response. And that's gonna be pretty much the pretty much the name of the game. We're gonna be just trying to force out responses because since we don't have the ability to hold a mana, we'll have to be always ready for a defense. And well, it's difficult to defend with three mana. And I decided actually to make this deck with three mana cards because I figured that with other with other costs, it will be even harder, so I obviously couldn't block this fifth I wanted to. But it wasn't just the case here. I'm gonna play Super Devil. I think I played it too high up. Yeah, but I, at the same time, I was... Okay, yeah. It was indeed too high up. And obviously I have to play cards instantly, so I cannot bank anything. If my opponent ever decides to bank mana, I will be in a very... Oh. Then I'm talking about not banking and I banked absolutely a whole piece of mana and that's just not the way the game from my side is supposed to look like. Gonna play Super Devil here. Have to play Bomb Girl here. I kinda am used to banking some mana and waiting for my opponent to play by default so this chant which will be a bit hard for me and right now he's just Catching me off guard because this fifth won't connect, but the twins will, and 
that's gonna be very tough defense for me. I'm gonna play another bomb girl. If I get enough bomb girls on the map, I'll be able to just clarify some control. And now comes the Vikings, so it's gonna be a very tricky thing to defend. But first, we have to attack. We have to attack. We have to get some damage. I'm I'm not gonna sacrifice this bomb girl. Bomb girls are pretty much the best asset in my position. And my opponent knows that he just spells it out. I'm gonna play Swordsman here, I'm gonna play Skeleton Keg here, I'm gonna actually try to protect as many of these bombers as it's possible, uh, I won't be protecting any, very cool, I'm gonna be playing this, and right here you can see why this strategy isn't viable, it's just so hard to pretty much do anything if you are forced to play cards uh, all the time, and that's why it's pretty much also kind of not fun because right now I'm kind of forced to go all-in but I cannot go uh, like all-in in a standard way because I cannot bank mana so okay I, I got some damage very cool to see obviously I'm gonna right now just try to pressure him as much as it's humanly possible I'm gonna play cannon I'm gonna play some skeleton kick and I'm gonna play bullets and by some miracle we win this game which was like pretty much basically spam of three mana cards which i think actually is the best combo for this challenge and we're in the other game obviously we have to spam some cards at the very start of the game because that's the rule of the challenge he's gonna be playing gunner first play which I expect him to play actually a 2.6 super ape psych we're gonna see how it's gonna turn out and actually I got some very good early damage, I'm gonna play Cannon here and hopefully that's gonna be enough because he play Ice Tiny, fortunately it is enough. And right now I think my strategy against Super Ape 2.6 will be to have uh, the uh, Fawn Heart at all times on my hand, so if I ever get uh, caught off guard without a Cannon or without mana to play a Cannon because I have to play a card every time I have it on hand. Uh, I'll, I'll at least be able to defend like this, so he's gonna catch my digger, but not quite, so that's gonna be a good thing. I'm gonna play now Bomber on the same lane, so if he ever plays Super Ape, I will be able to counter, and right now he's just playing Flying Bomb, which surprisingly I think is a good move, because I pretty much have to now counter this Swordsman. I have to right now play this. Von Hort, which I was talking about uh, earlier, and it kind of saved my tower because this push was looking very scary. Obviously, with the handicap of my challenge, it will be scary every time, but we can make things easier for ourselves. And right now, my opponent just misses the skeleton kick. I play swordsman on the wrong side, which is definitely bad. And right now, I would love to play bomb girl, and I'm gonna actually play it. J just risk it for the biscuit. I think playing digger would be a safer play, but at the same time. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just play Bomb Girl for the safety. I actually will have to receive some damage, which is not comfortable for me, and I'll have to play Super Devil. And right now, he just can play Super Ape and absolutely ruin my career. And now, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just play Fall Horde, try to kill this gunner. If I get a kill, that's gonna be a very comfortable situation for me to play. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna be playing a Ken against this. Super able, very cool things to see. I'm, but like you see, I'm not used to playing this type of self-imposed challenge yet. So I may be banking some mana here and there. But trust me, I'm I'm genuinely trying to uh, uh, to get this challenge as uh, to to get this challenge done as uh, genuinely as it's uh, uh, humanly possible. I'm gonna actually pre-play a can so. If my opponent ever decides to go for a super API, the can will be there and there will be no problems. I'm gonna play some phone horde and then I'm gonna follow up with swordsman because this skeleton cat will drop. I'm gonna be able to get a kill on this and right now I'm gonna just go for a digger and 
hopefully a big attack. He's gonna be actually predicting my digger, which is very cool for him, but unfortunately he dies to the counter pushing cards. So that was a very close game, if I may uh, to say so. If my opponent were to figure out what was my challenge, he would definitely be more cautious with uh, like his super ape plays and he would uh, just punish my play a little bit more. But yeah, win is a win, let's jump to the fourth game of the video. And right now I'm against Mysterious Mind, so actually this player is very strong and I actually don't know if this challenge will go well against him because, well, like I've said, he is pretty decent at this game and I'll have to actually try to win. He's gonna be playing a Digger, which I don't think is the best call he can do, but at the same time I didn't have any mana to counter this, so... That was pretty decent. Also, this is a very decent as well. His piercing archer not locking on my uh, swordsman. And that's gonna pretty much provide me with some safety net. I'm gonna play bomb girl in the back to just secure more safety. And after that, I think I'm gonna just play digger because th there is no reason why not to. I'm gonna play digger. He's gonna try to get a swordsman done, but he was a bit too late. And I think I'm gonna just play Ken because I think he's just playing a digger, uh, digger cycle as well, so I might as well just play a Ken and prevent him pro from playing digger ever again. I'm gonna play Skeleton Keg. He's gonna get a nice counter on my Skeleton Keg, which was kinda expected, and right now, yeah, he's gonna get a Piercing Archer, which, like I said, was expected, but at the same time, there was nothing I could do about that. I would love this Piercing Archer to now lock on the Swordsman. But yeah, he, he got even a fatter lock than I expected. I'm gonna get some damage back. And yeah, I think that's gonna be actually the game we're gonna lose because I don't realistically see the way we're gonna win this one. <laughs> My opponent kinda knows how to play the game and me with this challenge will be a, a very hard thing to do by itself. And yeah, I only have to just stay aggressive as much as I possibly can and right now I'm gonna just even play Digger here to get some damage. Unfortunately I didn't force any response out of him which would be obviously fortunate if I did but yeah I'm gonna play Swordsman here so that his piercing archer will lock on my Swordsman and not my spam cards and on for okay fortunately though that's very fortunate this piercing archer won't be doing too much I'm gonna get this I'm gonna get a super devil. I swear I wa I didn't want to wait, but at the same time, yeah. Like I've said, th this this challenge is not only hard because of the uh, practical restrictions, but also because I kind of have to be fast with playing my cards. So I'm gonna. I would love to get a kill on this piercing archer. I did. Very cool to see. I think I'm gonna just go for a kill on this swordsman. I'm gonna go for a myself and right now my opponent will just yeah my opponent will just go for a piercing archer and there's nothing I can do about it except to pray he's gonna even get a prediction on my bomb girl because frankly it's only thing he can he uh, has to care about and that's why you pretty much don't play this strat in real life yeah he was just playing Remia Lee deck there's there's nothing I could do honestly but a good try is a good try obviously GG's for him because he played this matchup very well and I think actually I would have some chances if I didn't have the handicap of playing the cards every time, even with this kind of garbage deck in a normal sense. But yeah, like I said, he is a very decent player, and even though he had like low metal count, he was always on top of the leaderboards, and for some reason he is just choosing not to push this season. So yeah, I'm gonna just jump to the game number 5 and see whether or not I'm gonna lose another 16 medals. And we're gonna face It's Dewey, who I frankly didn't meet ever in my life, and we're gonna see how it's gonna play out. He's gonna be play starting off with Ghost and Blitz, so we pretty much expect some Viking Bridge spam action, which, like I've said before, is gonna be just very tough for us to deal with. We already have to play Cat, which I didn't want to play here. And after that, I think uh, our best bet will be to play Bomb Girl just for safety. You never know what's gonna happen. He's banking a lot of mana. Uh, this is something I was afraid 
from the very start that my opponent will start to figure out my challenge. Fortunately, Digger was very good and this piercing archer won't get as much value as it uh, would like to. I'm gonna get a skeleton keg, of course. He's gonna have to play Blitz, which is very fine for me. I won't be able to defend this fifth, unfortunately, because, yeah. Like you see, I spent all my mana for the pressure, and I unfortunately, it's just not the way to go. I'm gonna hopefully get some cheap damage, and I get one, one stab. Very cool to see. Yeah, I think the way to play this matchup will be to just uh, kinda play very passively. Prepare for the threats that your opponent can potentially throw at you. I'm gonna get some connection here, which I don't think is the worst thing in the world, but at the same time, yeah. I'm gonna get a swordsman here. Unfortunately, Piercing Archer won't cross the bridge, so this swordsman is very likely to be dead. But, oh, our, our Super Devil got some very juicy connection on the opposite side though. So we're gonna just get this. I'm gonna play Bomb Girl here, and usually I would be playing Bomb Girls at... Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, he figured out the gimmick. There's no way he didn't, because he played Twins as soon as he saw the Bomb Girl, yeah. I think my opponent have figured out the gimmick, and that may be the official game over, because there's nothing I can do about that. I'm gonna play Mach I mean, uh, Machine Gun Cannon. I'm gonna play another Bomb Girl. Hope to get some value out of that. I'm gonna play a skeleton cake right now in the back so I can get some more play. I'm gonna play right now a super devil, and that's gonna be actually a scary push for him to defend. I oh, I held some mana, unfortunately. I was just waiting for the result of that. I'm gonna be oh, oh, that, that oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be bad. That's gonna be bad. I would love everything to kite, and I did. I actually managed this defense way better than I anticipated. I'm gonna quickly play a skeleton gag so he cannot get a piercing archer connection. I'm gonna get a mob girl, so... To snipe his piercing archer, I'm gonna play digger in the back. I'm gonna play some bullets and try to finish this game as soon as possible because it frankly may end very badly for me if I don't do so. I'm gonna play some cannon here, so I get a defense. I'm gonna play just a digger and hopefully, fortunately, I'm gonna get a game. So yeah, it was very sweaty, but we got them in the end. Like I said, Viking Bridge will be very bad matchup for us, but fortunately, fortunately, I kinda figured out how to play it. If my opponent doesn't figure out my gimmick too early, he won't be able to punish us in a single mana and if I were to be honest, single mana is the scariest time because I don't have bomb girls on the board and bomb girls don't just get too much value if I do do so. But yeah, once I survive to double, I always feel more confident with this challenge. So yeah, that's gonna be it from me in today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and to leave a subscribe, I mean, leave a comment, what, what, what am I? talking whatever no one watches till the end so it doesn't really matter make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel if you aren't already and enjoy my content yeah uh, it, it has to be said because like some people actually subscribe after youtuber says that so yeah that's going from me today thanks for watching and i'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of boom arena